I searched long and hard uh, to try to find the most appropriate and meaningful reading to open this ceremony, um, especially because of the fact that it's uh, the spring equinox. Now, knowing how much you both love hiking and the trails, I decided to go to a source that would be meaningful. So I'm about to begin with an Apache blessing. May the sun bring you new energy by day. May the moon softly restore you by night. May the rain wash away your worries. May the breeze like you blow new strength into your being. And all the days of your life, may you walk gently through the world. other to each other and that they would be spending the rest of their life with each other they both said the same thing <laughs> we have so many common interests we have so many common interests now Andy went on to say um, his first impression She has a nice figure. <laughs> well, he didn't only say it, he also wrote, he also put a little smiley face next to her. And she was out walking uh, in a pretty place. She's very kind, patient, loving. It's just so easy with her. Well, Lisa had something to say. Yeah, okay, here it comes. <laughs> he has beautiful eyes and smiles with an easy nature. Andy is my best friend. He is my one. He makes me feel happy. Lisa and Andy, welcome to your marriage. <laughs> now, knowing just how intimate this ceremony was going to be, something that I've never done in all the weddings that I've done, I want to say something nice about all of you. And these are not my words. These are Lisa's. Bob, you're not only a good witness, you are a former boss for many years told me that you were right at the top being an engineer. Bob, you are a great mentor and a beloved friend, a successful businessman from Penfield, New Brunswick. Thank you. Linda, a retired school teacher, and you love being with family. And all of us here, right now, are family. Angela, very sweet spirit, fellow nature and a desert hiker lover. You grew up in Ohio, microbiologist, best friend, best support in Las Vegas. She gave me the best bridal shower I could dream of. <laughs> a horse ride and red rock candy. Mario? Uh-oh. you read it? Neighbor? Italian from uh, the upper New York State? A fabulous master chef, which everyone will be able to tell very soon. You keep us well fed, and you watch over Angie. Mm -hmm. Sicily, an independent and sweet fellow nature desert hiker lover. 
traveled much of the world, and you volunteer with Angela at Spring Mountain Ranch. David. David is the realtor that worked hard with the purchase of our Las Vegas home and made our dream come true. He's gone out of his way many times to assist us with various condo issues while we were back in Canada. He also clearly loves his family and makes his children a priority. Your priority. <laughs> Before we begin the formal ceremony, I do want to pause for a moment and honor the memory of Andy, of, of your grandparents, Ronald and Dorothy Ingram, and your uncle William Ingram. May the memory continue to be a blessing. Andrew Edward Boyles. Do you choose to marry Lisa Jane Wilde? Do. Do you, Lisa Jane Wiley, choose to marry Andrew Edward Boyles? Absolutely. I do. And because this is small and intimate, you all have now a part. Listen very carefully. Do all of you hear? in witnessing the vows that they are about to make, will you do everything in your power to love and to support these two persons in marriage? If so, will you answer, we will? We will. We will. That's the best you can do? <laughs> One, One, two, time. three. We, we will. will. <laughs> We're mostly singers. <laughs> Lisa and Andy, a few minutes from now, your lives will be the same as it has been for many years. But it's also going to be changed forever. I don't have to ask you because I already know the answer. That you take your vows very seriously. There's a phrase that I have come to not only love, but I respect. It. Marry me. Marry me now. Marry me today, marry me tomorrow, marry me every day, and marry me forever. Mm -hmm. So I ask you now to please share the vows. They have not, you, you, he doesn't know what you're saying, does he? I can't remember <laughs> <laughs> So, why don't you begin? Okay. I'm now going to step out so you have a perfect picture. <laughs> Lisa, on this special day, our wedding day, I vow to you the inscription on our wedding bands. Gra Dilshak Kajas. Love, loyalty. I promise to love you, to be honest with you, to trust you, and to respect you. I promise to listen to you and learn from you, and by doing so, we will grow together.
<laughs> if you will please put her ring on her finger. <laughs> and if you will repeat after me. And you can hold her hand. <laughs> Lisa. Lisa. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my devotion. As a symbol of my devotion. And as I have now placed it on your finger. As now I have placed it on your finger. I commit my very heart. I commit my very heart. I commit my very soul. I commit my very soul. To you and to you alone. To you and to you alone. I ask you to wear this ring. I ask you to wear this ring as a reminder of the vows we have just spoken. As a reminder of the vows that we have just spoken. Now and forever. Now and forever. Lisa, if you will, put the ring on his finger. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my devotion. As a symbol of my devotion. And as I've now placed it on your finger. As I've now placed it upon your finger. I commit my very heart. I commit my very heart. I commit my very soul. I commit my very soul. To you and to you alone. I ask you to wear this ring. I ask you to wear this ring. As a reminder of the vows we have just spoken. As a reminder of the <laughs> vows we have just spoken. Now and forever. Now and forever. Look at the flower. You know, she changed a few words, and I like the way she changed them too. <laughs> there you go. I think they will, they will now be part of my ring uh, ceremony. <laughs> there you go. Lisa and Andy, your lives are full with, uh, with friends and family, dividing your time between Nova Scotia and Las Vegas. How very long ago it must now seem when you first walked the trails at uh, the Irving Nature Park in St. John, New Brunswick, <laughs> nearly 10 years ago. Amazing that sometimes the years pass by like months, the months pass by like weeks, the weeks pass by like days. Not so long ago, Andy's proposal at uh, the first bench on Dale's Trail at Red Rock Canyon on November 12th, 2015, and you said yes. <laughs> I did. Yay. Your lives together include sharing uh, the love of trails, hiking, the nature, the photography, birding, so appropriate on the cake, mm -hmm. reading, PBS, movies, traveling. <laughs> you both are educated, and whether having done a senior caregiving or prof being professional engineer, mm -hmm. so many wonderful memories. But before I close with the pronouncement of marriage, I want to close with the following words. First, a quote from Winston Churchill. Now. Appropriate. <laughs> I am easily satisfied with the very best. <laughs> Guess go. what? You've got you the go. very you best. Yes, I do. Both got it. <laughs> and words by Vance Joy. 
anywhere I go, there you are, there you are, there you are. Bury me today, bury me forever. By the power granted to me by Clark County and the state of Nevada, it is my honor and it is my privilege to now declare you married as husband and wife. And as I leave the picture for a perfect picture, you may now kiss the bride. I think they've been practicing. He's quiet. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you all being here for us. Lovely, beautiful. Will you stand this direction so we can get a picture of the two of you?